Hi, my name's Alan. I'm the Lead Land Manager East for the Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust. And today I'm at Daneway Banks Nature Reserve looking for the rare large blue butterfly. The main reason the large blues went extinct alongside loss of habitat was due to a lack of grazing. There was a huge change in grazing management at the start of the 20th century and this change wasn't initially noticed as there used to be a huge number of rabbits. But once myxomatosis was introduced in the 1950s, the average grass height rose by five centimetres. And as a result, the ground became too cool, too shaded, and the red ant host disappeared. And sadly, the large blue butterfly couldn't fulfil its life cycle. The large blue was reintroduced to Daneway Banks in the early 2000s. And after many years, the population's grown and grown and grown. And out of 2019, we recorded the largest known population in the world, right here at Daneway Banks. And not only is the large blue thriving here, this is a fantastic example of species-rich limestone grassland, for which only 1.5% remains in all the Cotswolds. So to help manage for the large blue butterfly, but also this grassland habitat, we use these rare breed Welsh mountain ponies. And what they do is, as you can see, they're grazing, and this lowers the grass height. And by doing that, it allows the ground conditions to become much warmer. And this allows the red ant, which the large blue needs to fulfill its life cycle, to thrive. But not only are we managing for the large blue, these grassland habitats are absolutely thriving. What the ponies do is as they're grazing, their hooves create pockets of bare ground and they push seeds into the ground and that allows the wildflowers to thrive. And this way, the species rich grassland is managed for year on year and we are just recreating a natural process. This little pink plant in front of me, this is wild thyme and this is a larval food plant for the large blue butterfly. And this taller plant here in front of me, which is just coming into bud, this is marjoram, and this is also a larval food plant here at Daneway Banks. This marjoram plant now is absolutely perfect for egg laying. This is exactly what the females are looking for. They're looking for the really tight closed buds, as they will on wild thyme. Wild thyme flowers earlier, once that's in flower, they then come to use the marjoram and the females lay their eggs right down within the buds. And what that's for is when the egg is then hidden, it will then hatch and the caterpillar will then burrow into developing seed heads and it'll feed there for about three weeks. After this time, the caterpillar then purposely flicks itself off the plant onto the ground and it's then waiting to be found by a foraging red ant. And that's where all the exciting stuff really starts. It then deceives the ant and they think it's an ant grub it is then taken back within the ant nest and then feeds an ant brood until it then pupates and becomes adult butterfly next year. The key things to look for when identifying a large blue is firstly, it's not a massive butterfly, but it is larger than other blue butterflies found here in the UK. Some key things to look for is when it's got its wings open on the upper wings, on the top, you want to look for some bold black spots and these resemble, I think, like paw prints. And when the wings are closed, you'll notice black spots with a distinguishing white ring around them, and it lacks any other orange coloration, which you'll find in other blue species found this time of year. And large bees are typically on the wing from early June into mid-July, but this can vary with seasonal fluctuations, but give or take, that's about the best time to see them. The success of large blue here is thanks to our partners, who co-own Damey Banks here with us, the Royal Entomological Society, but also a huge thanks to the Large Blue Committee who, who are very supportive in anything and everything we do here at, at Damey Banks. Now we've got this thriving population here, this is just the start. Now we want to see more. Now we want to see the Large Blue found throughout the Golden Valley, throughout the Stroud Valleys and throughout the Cotswolds and it's going to start right here. <laughs>